First of all, if you have something like this, that has a negative in front of it, okay? That negative right there is only for one of these values, not for both of these values, all right? So you can do this right here. If you want the three to be negative, just cross that out and make three a negative. That's it, okay? Don't make that negative that negative. Because when you do that, negative divided by negative is a positive, okay? So only one of them is negative, okay? All right, same thing for the other one. If you want the two to be negative, cross this out to be a negative, all right? If you want six to be a negative, then just make a negative six, all right? One of those, a negative. The answer will not change, okay? It will still be the same in a little bit, all right? So first of all, we are going to take the numerator, the top, we're going to multiply by the denominator, the bottom of the other one, all right? So this negative three times a negative six, uh, a positive 18. It goes, then you take the denominator and the numerator, the other one, multiply it together. So that's five times two K, that will give you a positive 10 K. Last, you gotta get k by itself, so you have to divide it by the coefficient of k, which is n. All right. So k equals 1.8. All right. Or you wanna leave that as a less number, a fraction. It can be nine or five. And that right there is your answer. When you have this right here, again, you multiply this whole thing up here by that. Okay, all right. So let's re let's write the equation for this. So first of all, we are going to put this in parentheses. We are going to put this in parentheses. Okay. If it has more than one thing, you put those in parentheses. Okay. So. This times that. Okay. So let's write it out. Four. Put the single number part in front of parenthesis. Parenthesis A plus 6. All right, plus 4 times A plus 6. It goes, then we have 2 times the other um, expression, which is 5A plus 6. Right, so that's my equation right there. Now, we are going to solve this like we did before, okay? So, boom, 4A times, 4 times A is 4A. Boom, 4 times 6 is 24 positive. Boom, 2 times 5 is 10. And we have an A, we write down the A, okay? Boom, 2 times 10 is 20. Okay, <coughs> next, we are going to pick one of these four to eliminate. It does not matter which one to eliminate, okay? You have four choices. You can eliminate that, 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 or that. If you do it right, in the end, you will get the same answer, okay? All right, so it just depends on which one you need. Okay, so let me eliminate the 24. So we need a negative 24. Okay, carry that down, 4, A. How, gone. Carry this down, 10, A. And then 20 minus 24 is negative. <laughs> all right, next we have to get rid of one of the A's, all right? 
Um, so we have to eliminate 10. If we eliminate the 4A again, for those of you who are here, then there's nothing over here is empty. I don't want anything to be empty, okay? All right? So we have to get rid of this 10A over here by the opposite. Okay? Ow, ow. So 4 minus 10 is negative 6. A, and then you like. Last step is divide by coefficient of A, which is negative 6. Negative 6, okay? Alright, so A, it goes negative 4 divided by negative 6, and we give you a positive 0.6. Repeating, alright? But you can write use 0 0.67. Terms for those parentheses, this right here and this right here needs to go inside the parentheses. Okay? Alright. This, you can multiply by that on the bottom. So let's write this little equation 11 times 11n minus 11 equals. Take that, multiply the other one. Four times n plus four. <coughs> and then you, 11 times 11 is 121 n. <coughs> 11 times negative 11 is negative 121. And you have to equal sign. Four times n, that'd be four n. Four times four, we be positive six. Then make up a name, Johnny. Johnny wants to eliminate the 121, okay? So you have 121 positive. Positive 121. And that's gone. Okay? And then Johnny said, hmm, next step, I would have to eliminate one of this n. Okay? So it was like, if I eliminate this 121 n over here, then there's nothing over there. I can't do that. So it was like, okay, that means I have to eliminate this 4 n. So he said, why can't I just do this at the same time? Minus 4 n, minus 4 n. And I can cross it out at the same time. So then he have 121 minus 4 is 117 n. It goes 16 plus 121 that's 137. Okay? Alright? You can also do that. Okay? You can eliminate a constant and a constant of a variable at the same time. Alright? The last step is divide by 117. So n equals 1 plus 1 plus 1. Alright. Alright. The reason is special because of this negative. Be careful with that negative because the denominator is an expression. It has more than one thing. Alright? So, if you decide to move this negative in front of this, this thing changes. Alright, so if you make this negative on the bottom, that means everything has to multiply by negative. Okay? Alright, so to make life easier, I just take this negative, I'll give that to this. Okay? Alright, so parenthesis, parenthesis. Alright, so do I have to write the equation with all this parenthesis? No, you don't have to. If you can do this right here. Negative 2 times 7n. That's negative 14 n. Okay? Then negative 2 times negative 4. That is positive 8. <coughs> it goes, then you multiply this together, alright? 6 times n, that would be 6n. 6 times negative 3, that would be negative 18. Okay? You can also do that without writing the first equation with parentheses. 
and from here you sum. All right. So minus eight from both sides. Then that's gone. All right, so carry that negative 14. Um, didn't do anything to the six hand, so I'm be right at the bottom. And negative 18 minus negative 26. All right, next, eliminate the six hand. Eliminate the six hand. So negative 14 minus six is, that's negative 20. And equals negative 26, all right? Just make sure you carry down the whole thing. Negative 26, not 26. Finally, divide everything by the coefficient of n, which is negative 20, negative 20. Okay, so n equals, okay. All right, 